first we have to connect the mobile hotspot to the desktop which is uh, laptop and the Raspberry Pi kit. Hmm? Turning on the Raspberry Pi kit. Uh, then we have to move to advanced ID scanner in order to obtain the iPad of the Raspberry Pi. We have to click on the IP, which is uh, IP icon. IP icon. Then we have to scan. We will wait for some time. Then we obtain the Pi address. The Pi address is obtained. The Pi address, the Pi Raspberry Pi IP address should be in uh, blue blue color, which is showing here, which is not, which should not be in gray color. The obtained IP address which is 192.168.43.74 uh, We will go to through VNC Weaver which is a software which is required for this project We have to type this, type this IP address on that 192.168.43.74 This shows how many devices are connected to the circuit that's a desktop pi. Uh, we should we should keep the username and password. The username will be pi and the password will be one two three four five. This is the Raspberry. On the screen we have detected the mask the person who is wearing you can get the name of this one the commands running on the background the air shader is one and mask is detected temperature will be shown is 20 celsius if the person comes in front of the gate, that is the air sensor will sense the person. The gate will open. Uh, the gate will open if the person is wearing mask. And if person allows through the gate, it will close. Coming to no mask, if person not, not wearing mask. Person always in front of the gate, the air sensor will sense the body temperature and the buzzer will lose because he is not wearing a mask. It will be shown in the run comments, no mask detected and the temperature also. We have to go to Dropbox, these images will be drop into it. Sending image to Dropbox. We have to open it and see. The following is up there, which shows temperature and mass percentage. This is our project.